This is video help for problem 15.11 in the old edition and 15.10 in the new. Uh, actually, the only real difference is, you know, we threw away a remark saying that you had to have a plot. You don't have to plot, really. You know, it's easier than that. Although, when you do a plot, it makes it clearer to you what's going on. And we added one little additional request in Part B. So, look at this new version of 15.11, which is now 15.10 in the new edition. We're going back to basic CNR contrast to noise ratio, 15.43 in both editions. It's a 90 degree gradient echo, but we're ignoring the, you know, the, you know, the, the non-uniformities, the external non-uniformities in the magnetic field that give rise to T2 star effects, T2 star being different from T2, and we're going to ignore that. So T2 star is just T2. So when we say intrinsic T2 star here, delta B0 equals 0, you can just think of that as T2. Well, this is just a question of programming up two different, uh, well, prog programming up one equation and then just looking at it for different parameters. In part A, you just we just have the basic formula here that, that I mentioned. And TE is fixed, and T is almost small enough to call it T1 weighting. And then iterate TR. Just move TR and find out where CNR is for. And then you'll, you'll see, indeed, you know, that this is the uh, minimum value of TR uh, that can be used. And um, it's just a, a little numerical thing. By the way, if you were to look at the optimal value of TR, that would give you the biggest CNR, you actually would find something interesting. It's actually, is no good here. Why? Well, just as a hint, that calculation, that derivation came from setting a derivative equal to zero and trying to find where the maximum CNR is. Well, you know from calculus that that's not enough. Your hint shows where the derivative is zero. Derivative is zero, period. In part B, same formula, but now you're going to fix TR, and you're going to iterate, you're going to change TE and look at the values. So when you look at where CNR is greater than or equal to 4, well, you can answer, is it, is it uh, where... TE is maximum or where TE is minimum. Hint, for the other extreme, why don't you look at TE optimal? You know, because, you know, you don't want to take, in this whole thing, you can't take TE go to zero. You do that and it's not going to be sensitive to T2. It's going to be sensitive just to the density difference. But there is an optimal. What does that correspond to? Is that a max or is that min? And this part here, is this a max or min? This will be the other one. This will, this will give you one of them. This will give you the other. 